Everything is concentrated on the razor's edge. And you forget the score. You forget where you are. I feel that my body's floating within myself. The film's incredible. Arthur Ashe, of course, is incredible. Walk me through the process of going through all of the archival footage. There's such amazing photographs and videos that really bring his story to life. It started, um, speaking of archival, with me getting a call from a uh, lady named Linda Zimmerman. And she said, my father, John Zimmerman, John Zimmerman was a photographer for Life and Sports Illustrated magazines. And he shot Arthur Ashe for a week for Life magazine in 1968, when he was winning the US Open for the first time. And we have 41 rolls of film that nobody's ever seen before. And you should do a film about all this. And that was the first of several amazing archival sources that we were able to get for this film that nobody had ever seen before. Some people think we are all brawn and no brains. And I uh, like to fight the myth. Sam, for sports fans like myself, who unfortunately were not old enough to remember Arthur Ashe playing, what do you hope we take away from this film about his life? Well, a couple of things. First of all, the fact that he was a phenomenal tennis player, you know, at a time where he was really the only one, the only man of color out there in the matrix, in, in, in the pro tennis world. That's number one. Number two, what I think what you should take away was that he was more than just a tennis player. And it was something I wasn't really aware of because I grew up during the 60s and I was aware of Arthur Ashe then. I never really thought of him as the activist that he became, you know, the fighting against the part of South Africa, looking at AIDS, fighting, you know, dealing with the old AIDS issue, dealing with things that were going on in other countries like in Haiti. This man was an activist. He had a very focused, disciplined approach to his activism. And I think he became even more confident and felt that he had a platform after he won that 68 US Open. So I think it was to give the audience an opportunity to see all the different aspects of Arthur Ashe and who he was. I love that you use the word confident because I feel like confidence is a theme to the movie. It's something that Arthur talks a lot about in his own tennis game and also his own life. Where did you find the confidence in yourself to take on this project? Well, I like to use this tennis analogy that we use when you're out there battling, which whenever you have adversity, all you have to worry about is the next point. And that's what Arthur did a lot in his life. For instance, when he had a heart attack, he had to retire from tennis, but he started a foundation about heart disease, educating people. When he was later, uh, had the misfortune of contracting AIDS from blood transfusion, he didn't mope around and, and become a recluse. He started a foundation to defeat AIDS. So Arthur, I think, from a young age, was in, instilled with a lot of re personal responsibility both on and off the court.